What's up guys, James from AIM Surplus back with another product spotlight. Today, I have the new Hype Beast that is currently taking over social media. People are calling it the Glock Killer. This is the Echelon from Springfield Armory. Now, let's see what this comes with and then we'll jump into the gun and see what that hype is all about. You got a you know, single soft padded case for your, your firearm, pretty cool. Uh, you've got a speed loader in here. Then you have an option to add an extended base plate to get a couple more rounds in your mags. We have the optic pins for their cool optic system. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, back here you have your magazine. This one already has the extended piece on it, so you get more rounds from that one. Other mag that's in the gun is flush. Then we have one, two back straps in here. Get, get that grip dialed in. Sweet lock. And then just your owner's manual and warranty info, all that usual stuff. Let's talk about this gun. The Echelon takes a little from your PDP, your 320, and even the MMP 2.0. That's a good thing. You have the central operating group, which is essentially the same thing as SIG's fire control unit. That part is technically the firearm, just like on your 320, which means you can move the setup to different grip modules and get that setup that is best for you and what you intend to use it for. Uh, then you have something I think potentially could be really cool, their optic mounting system. They're calling it the variable interface system. Makes it almost universal. Uh, over 30 optics directly mount to the slide without the need for plates. One less failure point. Now on this, you have these locking pins that are set up to match the footprint of your optic. The pins, when torqued to spec, put lateral pressure on the optic's interior mount. That way you eliminate that side-to-side -side movement. It's a cool idea, and if it takes off, that's huge because then you have no more waiting to get your slide milled. But, you know, only time will tell, so we'll see how that works out. One thing I didn't expect to love from the pictures I saw was the slide. It's chunky like a PDP, but I actually really like this slide. The serration, serrations are nice. They're pretty big, but they're not too sharp, not too aggressive. Great for press checks and reloads. The cuts are made in the right spots to help the slide feel a lot lighter than it looks. The frame, also really nice. Not my favorite ergonomics, but it's definitely not the worst. I have smaller hands, so with that medium backstrap on, it's okay. I wanna try it with the small backstrap and see how that feels. That's how I run my MMP, so maybe that's the way I need to run it. Texture on these is really nice. It's not as aggressive. Uh, it'd be nice for a concealed carry running an appendix. It's not gonna scratch your skin all up. You also get the same stipple pattern on your index points. That's awesome. Not included with this are their other grip modules. Just like SIG offers on the 320, you can get your gun set up to how you want to carry it, how you want to use it. It's a cool gun. I'm not mad at this thing at all. They have cool features. They took extra care in the safety on these. A second sear design on these helps prevent unintentional discharge if you should happen to drop it. You don't need to pull the trigger to field strip it, so some folks are gonna be real happy about that one. It's a very interesting firearm. I'm curious to see how this holds on to the hype that it is getting. Glock killer, I don't think so, but that's just my opinion. If you're local, swing by, check it out in person. If not, check it out on the website. Either way, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.